Chapter 2, Getting Gold Ready for School It was the last day of summer vacation and Calvin and I were in our room getting ready for the first day of school. He was going into the fourth grade and I was heading into second. Calvin was on the computer and I was sitting on my bed going over my PDK, Personal Disaster Kit. When you're afraid of everything, it's very important to carry a PDK. It's like a PFD, a personal flotation device, only heavier and with more parts. A PDK begins with the right box. It must not be too big, like a shoe box, or too small, like a Band-Aid tin. A handle on it is good, but a lock is bad on account of it will keep you out when you need to get in. I use a waterproof fly box with compartments, which is just perfect. You can put anything in a PDK, but mostly it should be things that are useful in a disaster, such as a whistle. If I lose my voice, a whistle is very handy. A three-leaf clover, because I couldn't find a four-leaf one. Garlic, for fending off vampires and teachers. Dental floss, handy for trapping, wrapping, tying, and hanging things out of Annabelle's reach. Band-Aids, a magnifying glass for general curiosity, but can also be used to start a fire. A mirror, for sending signals in case you can't start a fire. A bandana, for preventing smoke inhalation in case you start the above fire but can also be used as a sling or a tour tourniquet. A scary mask for keeping girls away. Escape routes. The problem with PDKs, as everyone knows, is that they need to be updated every year on account of you never know what you'll need in the next grade. Now that I can read and write without help, I was adding something I'd needed for a long time. Emergency plans. I read them aloud to Calvin. How to survive a fire in the school cafeteria. 1. Lie down. The freshest air is near the floor. 2. Crawl away from the flames. 3. Run. And how to meet your new teacher. Put on a scary mask. 2. Rub on garlic. 3. Stay back 100 feet. And how to survive show and tell. One, show something spectacular. Two, hold it high. Three, turn it around. Four, listen to the oohs and ahs. Five, take a bow. When I finished reading, I was very impressed with my plans, but Calvin was not. That's stupid, he said. Calvin is not supposed to use the S word. It is bad. You can't say that, I said. Okay, it's dumb, said Calvin. You're supposed to look your teacher in the eye, shake her hand, and smile. But that's harder than putting on a scary mask, I said. I am not too good at anything ever since I started school. But Calvin is good at everything. He knows his multiplication tables, mostly. He has fantastic ideas for science projects. Most days he can finish his homework without falling asleep. And someday he will know something about everything because he is reading the entire encyclopedia online. Calvin, I said, you're going to be the smartest person in the world. That's the whole idea, said Calvin, still reading. He needed to read pretty fast to give himself a jump start on the fourth grade, which is when you have to speed read to get yourself ready for middle school. He was up to the letter D. Did you know that deer sleep only five minutes a day, Calvin said. No, I said, Calvin. Calvin ignored me and continued reading. The elephant is the only mammal that can't jump, he said. Calvin was right. I've seen an elephant fly in a movie, but I've never seen one jump. I need your help to finish my PDK, I said. 
I've already helped you, Calvin sighed. He did not look up. I need more help, I said. I need emergency plans for making friends. None of the boys at school will play with me. That's because you're weird, said Calvin. I'm not weird, I said. I have so-so performance anxiety disorder. It is true. I see a therapist for it. That's weird, said Calvin. He skipped ahead to S. You're weird, I said. Did you know that the author, William Shakespeare, invented more than 1,700 words, including assassination and bump? I shook my head. Stewardesses is the longest word you can type with only the left hand, said Calvin. I growled. Calvin stopped. Okay, the first step in making friends is, don't talk so much. You need to be quiet. That is the first rule of being a good friend. Oh, I blinked. But I can't talk at school, I cried. That's the problem. Calvin glared at me. Maybe if you didn't use up all your words at home, you'd have some to use at school, he said. I glared back. Okay, he said. If I tell you, will you stop bothering me? Okay, I agreed. Ready? asked Calvin. You better write fast. So I did. I read it twice, then I read it again. Calvin's rules for making friends. Number one, say hello. Two, just say hello. Three, trade baseball cards. Four, trade more baseball cards. Five, just trade baseball cards. It wasn't perfect, but, but I put it into my PDK and stopped bothering Calvin.